It's been said that truth is stranger than fiction, and now it's coming true. In just the last few weeks, Communist China has openly sent their president to the Davos Forum and called for China to run a world government that blocks the United States recovery and that stops President Trump. And now they're even advising the MSM on how to censor the independent press in this country. But it gets even worse. The communist Chinese government is now buying up the major Hollywood studios and openly producing movies where President Trump is a dictator and needs to be overthrown. In the last decade, China has been producing more and more of its films to be palatable to the communist Chinese. In fact, the unelected communist dictatorship has been dictating how films are actually produced and how they're edited. They've been even controlling the plots of films and demanding that movies like Red Dawn, the remake, not be released because it criticized China. They had to go back and cut China out and re-release it. So this problem's been getting worse and worse over the years, but now it's gone to a whole new level. In the last few months, it's been reported that communist China-backed billionaires have been buying up controlling interest in the major six production studios in Hollywood. Now, Hollywood has been very anti-family, very anti-gun, very anti-American for a very, very long time. But now, with the communist Chinese and a foreign power getting a controlling interest in major studios, we are looking at a clear and present danger to the very sovereignty of our country. Mr. President, you have been falsely accused. I've been accused. Former Congressman Ron Paul has been accused. And many others of being secret Russian agents. Maxine Waters even claimed that Putin told you in your ear that Hillary was crooked. If they're the ones who came up with crooked Hillary, if they're the ones who came up with she's ill, something's wrong with her energy, and the way that he uh, basically, you know, described her in the campaign, I think that is something that would put the question squarely on the table whether or not he should be impeached. Of course, all of that now has been debunked as completely false. But the real threat, the outside power, is communist China coming in and taking control of Hollywood and a lot of news media as well in the United States with tens of billions of dollars they're spending. You've talked about monopolies being threats inside the United States. What about the communist Chinese having a monopoly over Hollywood and the news and information we see coming out of corporate fake news? It was already unreal to witness the communist Chinese government, including their president, being interviewed by major U.S. newspapers lecturing us on how media that supported Trump was fake news and should be shut down. These were foreign powers openly coming in and getting involved in our election process, while the very same traitor media was claiming the Russians were the ones behind Trump's support. It's just crazy. They do in public everything they claim that we're doing. And now... We see what the communist Chinese are doing with their takeover of Hollywood that is almost totally complete. They are producing blockbuster films with hundred plus million dollar budgets produced by people like Michael Bay and directed by him where Donald Trump is a dictator villain that must be overthrown. In the film, a U.S. soldier is hired by a loving communist Chinese billionaire to go in and get his family out from the tyrannical United States and to lead the American people in an uprising against little America. That's right, Hollywood's producing films telling us that America is little under President Trump. No country has ever survived such treason if it's not answered. No country has ever put up with foreign outside powers coming in and taking over their media and their theater systems. That is the heart of any informational or propaganda system. This is truly an information warfare coup that the communist Chinese with their globalist and liberal cohorts are attempting. Mr. President, it is not just your right. It is your duty to call out communist China for what they're doing and to tell Hollywood that the American people are not going to sit on the sidelines while they engage in this demoralizing 
anti-free speech takeover. Because the communist Chinese are an outside power and they say we shouldn't have speech. Well, they sure don't have a right to come in as a foreign power and buy up our media and then propagandize us domestically. Mr. President, I know you have the power to shut down this foreign takeover cult. But the press would claim you were violating the free speech of the communist Chinese who don't let their own people have free speech and who execute Falun Gong Buddhists for basically practicing yoga in their own homes. I think personally the best thing to do is to use your bully pulpit to expose this tyranny and to point out they're doing everything they claimed that the Russians did in the election. But regardless of what you do, Mr. President, the American people need to take action and boycott these Hollywood production houses that are engaged in attempts to cause a civil war in this country. To be clear, the communist Chinese have almost completely taken over Hollywood illegally. This is a massively traitorous move by Obama allowing this to happen. And now they are producing not just this film, but other films that all portray President Trump as a loser that causes the downfall of our country. These people want us to fail. They want to kill the republic forever. They want to discredit the idea of a free, open society. And we've got to stand up against it and speak out against it. I know they've jumped the shark. They've really stepped in it here. If we stand up and point out that they think we're so brain dead, they think we're such zombies that they would attempt to put out movies like this. It's so sad to see how far Hollywood's fallen. They are so desperate to dominate this country that even at the Davos Forum, we see the communist Chinese unelected president promising the globalists that he'll be able to bully America into submission and that he'll be able to complete their world government when China is tottering on the edge of collapse. In closing, President Trump deserves all our prayers. We've got the Washington Post calling him Hitler for the stock market gaining $2 trillion on exuberance and optimism and calls for tax cuts and cutting regulations. We've got Madonna calling for the White House to be blown up. We've got thousands of other publications calling for similar things. And he's got the courage and the will to stand up against this tyranny and be so strong. And I'm asking you, Mr. President, to call out the communist Chinese for oppressing their own people and attempting to bully you and the rest of us into submission. I'm Alex Jones, and this is The Info War. <laughs>